the David gonna change new wires. The main reason why I'm changing wires because of starter. And that sadly is not working. And how starter is related with wires in a simple way is this one. I'm not sure what this was before, but I'm sure this is affecting my starter. Before I thought it was ECU, but I was wrong. ECU is absolutely in different place. So I'm changing anyway. Let's hope the starter is gonna work. I will start under the seat by removing the battery and start disconnecting all the wires. This is 5VY. I bought this wire exactly exactly the same for replacement my old damaged wires. By removing airbox, I find out I made a huge fail. Remember on, on the beginning of this video why the starter doesn't work? Because of those wires, I thought there was missing ECU. And by the way, I had new ECU. This ECU is exactly what I thought I gonna replace and figure out I don't even need that. And then I discovered ECU absolutely in different place. This corner was more tricky. The ECU plug was so squeezed, you don't have movement at all. And after that starts even more harder. This corner between engine and frame is so small. It's so hard to push wires through. Looks like almost impossible and those plugs come from headlight indicators all front nose and the moment of true starter is working or not looks like we have flat battery but we have solution in this one you battery for power and then disconnecting this one. very similar size yeah really very so this one is lithium battery and this one is gallium look at this in gallium battery you can feel it feels like two kilo maybe you can hear how heavy and lithium battery because Look how light, such a huge difference. Very well. 